Well, as details sparse as they are about Stephen Paddock emerge, various media outlets have featured stories on the shooter's race and sex. CNN ran a story today entitled, quote, How America Has Accepted the Rage of White Men. Salon.com ran a story entitled, America's White Man Problem, After Las Vegas, a familiar script unfolds. Vox, meanwhile, ran a story called, White Men, White American Men, a Bigger Domestic Terror Threat Than Muslim Foreigners. Now, not one of those outlets, of course, would ever publish an analogous piece applying to any other race, obviously. And yet some Arab Americans say the media goes too easy on white men after shootings like this. Amr Zahra is a law professor. He thinks that. He joins us tonight. Amr Zahra, thanks for coming on. So, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. It's not obvious to me why there's a racial component in this. I've followed it as closely as I, most news consumers, and I, I don't see that the, the guy's race is relevant to anything. So why is it central to your analysis of this? Well, it's, it's central to the coverage, right? So if we look back uh, at how Orlando was covered immediately, without any investigation to him, he had a motive simply because he was a Muslim. We find out later that it was much more complicated, that he had identity issues and all these other things. But the media jumps out right away, right, and gives usually white shooters the privilege of acting as an individual, as not acting on behalf of a race or a group. That but, doesn't but, happen to any other people, especially Muslims or Arabs. But, I mean, but, but we even I would, had a 14 year old. Wait can, wait, can I just say one thing, though? Two, two things, actually. It wasn't that complicated in Orlando. He didn't have sexual identity issues. We actually kind of know that after months of looking at it. He called 911 and said, I'm doing this on behalf of my religion. It's not about his race, it's about his religion. There are Muslims from all over the world who don't look no. alike, share the same race, as you know. And so it's not a racial issue to say that an ideology inspires people to do certain things. That's not racial, right? Yeah, but, 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 the, but the media, no, no, you're not right. Because what happens is people who are not white, especially if they're Arab and Muslim, automatically have a motivation. I'm not talking about what happens after months of investigation. I'm talking about what happens in the first 24 to 48 hours when the media covers something. I mean, even a 14-year-old kid in Texas who brought a clock to school somehow had a motivation, right? And he was arrested okay. and, and questioned without his parents. And a guy in Las Vegas with 42 guns, and they're searching for a motivation instead of assuming that he has any. The double standard is glaring. It happens well, all the time on, in but, the media, but there's also and especially to Arab and Muslim okay. Americans. Right. Arab and Muslim Americans. But I mean, let's be totally honest. Since September 2001, okay. it wasn't that long ago, 89% of all deaths in mass killings have been caused by Muslims. It's not an indictment of all Muslims. That's not, that that that's, actually that's, is that's that not, number. Oh, whoa, no, that's that not number, true. What we no, do actually, what, stop, what stop, we stop. do know is that, that number federal is statistics true, tell us and it's that not actually percent of mass shootings in America are committed by white men. But we shouldn't that, indict white culture for that. But, but, but what but I'm look, saying you're, is, you're let's kind do of away with the, the word terrorism here. altogether. It's not, and I no, agree with you that the terrorism is a loaded term. Um, and I'd be right. happy to get it's to an ethnic slur. It's become nothing more than a racial slur. But hold on, that's silly. Muslims make up. About 1% of the American population. They're not Arabs, okay. not Pashtuns, not racial groups or ethnic groups. This is a religion. They make up about 1% of the U.S. population. Yeah, but, but religion, a gets ra religion gets racialized. Religion I gets racialized what, in the way that we... And, only by morons. Of course it because does, it's right? Only so for, so it's only by morons. It's not instance, a in race. Boston, it's a creed. Do you, do you refer to the Boston bombers as white? I mean, they were from the Caucasus Mountains. They're actual Caucasians. You refer they, to them as white. white as no, you white don't. As, as they seem you, as white you, as you, you refer seem, to them which as Muslim. Is pretty white. You no, refer, I, you refer because, to them as Muslim. Well, that's kind of the point, actually. You're making my point, and maybe we agree with each other. It's not about the race. It's about the belief. And, of course, the Tsarnaev brothers, I don't even know what their race was. I don't care. They acted out of a series well, the, of beliefs, which well, are the, voluntary. These things, these things get conflated socially all the time. So the point is, when someone is not... A white, by the media, when someone is not a white Christian, right, immediately they are ascribed a motivation simply because of their background, whether it be race or religion or whatever. They are ascribed a motive, and that's not true. When you're white, you're able to have the privilege of acting individually just on your behalf. You just noted that you just saw the chief. You just saw the chief call him. Okay. No, I'm not. You just saw the chief call him disturbed and dangerous in that long press conference. He didn't call him motivated, where you have immediately, kid, Wait, you had the stabbing you in Flint, watch, Michigan, and immediately he was motivated. Did you watch the press conference? They don't know his motivation. Yeah. This whole show is about what is his motivation. Everyone watching longs to understand why this that's, happened. They're searching for that's one. They don't the point. have one. 
That's okay, the point. But, but we're never call, patient. We're never patient with Muslim or Arab okay. criminals. We're just but not patient with. But when you call 911 and say I'm with doing, white criminals, I'm very impatient to know why this guy did this. When you call 911 and say I'm opening fire in a gay nightclub on behalf of Allah. When you say that, when you fly your planes into office buildings and say, I'm doing this on behalf of my religion, we don't need to be patient. Right. You just told us why you're doing it. And so, so it's not about was the Dylan media. Roof, was, was Dylan Roof a terrorist to you? Was the shooter at Planned Parenthood in Colorado a terrorist to you? They told us clearly why they did what they did. Was he but a terrorist? But the media simply yeah, did I mean, not label them terrorists. I don't know who you're talking That's about. That's the point. I mean, okay. The term gets thrown around so willy-nilly, especially against Arab and Muslims. That's the point I'm trying to make. Hey, hey let's do Your away with the term altogether if any, we want. Then I'm totally happy to, to do that. I just, I'm really bothered by the intellectual laziness you're displaying, conflating no, if race you don't, and no, religion. Actually, They're you're not the, the you're, same uh, thing. No. You don't if if you don't want to understand the way people sometimes conflate race or religion or racialize a religion, Who then that's some people? other studying that you Who can do. People? The point that I'm the point that I'm no, making, you're making dumb is that what that aren't rooted in fact. The point that I'm making is that the media generally, all the time, will go out and say immediately that an Arab or Muslim okay. shooter has I mean, a motivation look, simply you, you based on his background. You haven't offered a single example, and I don't think oh, you're you, a very effective advocate for your position, comma tech, whatever it tech, is. But I tech, appreciate tech, you coming up.